In this video, I'm going to show you how we can verify that a given function is a solution for a differential equation. The given function is y equals cx to the 2, and we want to verify that this function is a solution for this differential equation, xy prime equals 2y. So we want to prove that this function is a solution for this differential equation. First, we have to find y prime, because here we have y prime, let's find y prime. Because y equals cx to the 2, y prime derivative of cx to the 2 is 2cx. Derivative of x to the 2 is 2x, which if you multiply by c, it's 2cx. Now, if we replace y prime here with 2cx and we replace y with cx2, the two sides of the equation should be equal to each other x times y prime which is 2cx must be equal to 2 times y y is this so 2 times this so 2 times cx to the 2 if you attention this expression is also 2cx to the 2 so the two sides of the equation are equal to each other and this shows that this function is a solution for the differential equation let me show you another example. The given function is y squared equals e to the 2x plus c, and the differential equation is y y prime equals e to the 2x. This given solution is implicit relation because we don't have y equals something. It's y squared. Actually, we can find y if we want by taking a square root from both sides. But it's not necessary to do that. For finding y prime or taking derivative of this expression, we have to do implicit differentiation. If you remember from the implicit differentiation, derivative of y to the 2 is 2y y prime. Based on the chain rule, derivative of y2 is 2y multiplied by derivative of the inside function, which is y, and derivative of y is y prime. And if we take derivative of the right side of the equation, derivative of e to the 2x is e to the 2x times y, derivative of 2x is 2, and derivative of constant c is 0. If we cancel these two with these two, we get to this relation. y y prime equals e to the 2x. And now, if you compare this relation with this given differential equation here, you can see that it's the same differential equation. So actually, by just taking derivative from this implicit relation, we could show that this function is a solution for this differential equation because as you can see y times y prime equals e to the 2x and we wanted to show the same thing so this completes the proof for this question this function is a solution for this differential equation let me show you another example the given function is y equals x tangent of x and we want to prove that this function is a solution for this differential equation x y prime equals y plus x squared plus y squared similar to the previous examples first we have to find y prime because we need y prime for at least here if we take derivative from this function derivative of x times tangent of x based on product rule is derivative of x is 1 times by tangent of x plus we write x derivative of tangent x is secant squared x now we can replace this expression for y prime 
and we can replace every y that here we have with x tangent x and we have to prove that the two sides of the equation are equal to each other so we have x times by y prime but y prime is this so x times tangent x plus x secant squared x must be equal to y y is x tangent x plus x squared plus y squared y squared if we square this is x squared tangent squared x if we multiply x in the bracket we have x tangent x plus x squared secant squared x and in the right side we have x tangent x plus x squared if you factor x squared from these two terms we have 1 plus tangent squared x now if you look at the left side and the right side of this equation this term and this term are the same at the two sides of the equation so we expect that this will be equal to this x squared and x squared are the same note that 1 plus tangent squared x is actually secant squared of x so this shows that the two sides of this relation are equal to each other and this completes the proof that this is a solution for this differential equation because everything in the left side equals everything in the right side if you don't know why 1 plus tangent of tangent squared x is secant squared of x note that this expression can be written as 1 plus sine squared over cosine squared because tangent is sine over cosine so tangent squared is sine squared over cosine squared now here if we do a common denominator we have cosine squared in denominator in numerator we have cosine 2 plus sine 2 and cosine 2 plus sine 2 is 1 so we have 1 over cosine 2 but 1 over cosine 2 is actually secant 2 let me show you another example here we want to prove that x plus y equals tangent inverse y is a solution for 1 plus y squared plus y squared y prime equal 0 so we want to prove that this is a solution for this differential equation as you can see this is implicit relation and so for finding y prime we have to do implicit differentiation derivative of x is 1 derivative of y is y prime and derivative of tangent inverse is 1 over 1 plus y squared times y derivative of inside which is y prime now here if we multiply both sides of this relation by 1 plus y squared we have 1 plus y squared times by 1 plus y prime equals y prime if we multiply these brackets 1 times 1 is 1 1 times y prime is y prime plus y squared plus y squared y prime is y prime now if we cancel this term with this term we have 1 plus y squared plus y squared y prime equals 0 and now if we compare this with this differential equation you can see that they are the same and this shows that this is a solution for this differential equation because by taking derivative from this relation we get to this relation this relation is the same as this and this shows that this is a solution for this given differential equation i hope by watching this video you have learned how we can verify a function is a solution for a given differential equation